So today we're checking out a 12 volt battery by Epic. I thought it was Epoch or Epoch, but it, they call themselves Epic batteries. So they have a large form factor 12 volt and this one has a capacity of 460 amp hours. And there are cheaper batteries on the market like a lead time or a 12 volt server rack battery, but for the features that this has and what you can do with it, I think a lot of you guys for mobile application systems will really like it. Now before we test it, let's cover the basic features. It has 460 amp hours and a 12.8 volts nominal, that's 5.8 kilowatt hours. And with that capacity, it weighs 97 pounds. So think about where you're gonna mount it, especially if you buy multiple. Next, you can charge with 230 amps at 12 volts and you can discharge continuously with 300 amps but the surge capacity is actually 500 amps for three seconds. Next, it has internal heaters, so if you're in a cold environment, it will switch those heaters on if it has power to do so, so you don't have to worry about cold temperature charging issues. Next, it has Bluetooth and a state of charge indicator, and you can mount it anywhere you wish. If you're using it on a boat or on an RV, you can mount this somewhere in your rig. Next, it has a waterproof case and plugs, so everything on here is actually waterproof. And then we have mounting holes just like a Battleborn GC3. So these are stainless steel and it allows you to mount them for mobile application. Now on the top we have an on and off switch, DIP for different communication settings, negative terminal, positive terminal, and then the communication ports are on this side. And it also has an on and off switch that you can connect here as well. Just like that. It has a green LED indicator and you can turn it on or off. But you have to hold it to turn it back on again kind of like the golf cart batteries. How nice is this case? It is so cool, especially this metal piece on top. I love it. Now the fun part, we're gonna hook it up to an inverter and test that surge capacity. And this is a 3000 VA Victron inverter. Now keep in mind the lead time 460 amp hour did run the car lift with this inverter. So hopefully this one can as well. And here's the car lift. Let's flip it on and we have power. So this is always a fun test. We have a Model 3 Tesla and we have it connected to this hydraulic motor and let's see what happens. It works! It actually worked. But the other battery worked as well so it's not saying much anymore. Let's try again. Uh-oh. It didn't like it that time. Oh, I think that might have been the inverter. Let me check. The inverter was overloaded so let's try again after it restarts itself. But the battery did not trip, which is a good sign. We now have power and let's try again. Why is the inverter not working anymore? So I think I figured out what was overloading the inverter. When this thing is lifted up just a little bit, it's really hard to lift. This actually gets time to spool up because there's slack in these lines. So let's try it again with the car all the way on the floor and I think it should work. Yep, look at that, okay. But if we try it again when it's lifted up, it's too much for that inverter to handle. And then it trips. But luckily the inverter tripped out, not the battery. So I need a bigger inverter so we can put larger loads on it. Now I wanna show you how to plug in the state of charge meter. So it has its own harness and here is the state of charge meter and the waterproof plug is where you plug into the battery. And this one is for CAN communication and this one is labeled Victron. And this one says Victron on the label. So we're gonna plug this in and then this turns on. And this is not voltage dependent. This is an actual coolant meter with the BMS. And then this plug connects to your Victron system if you're using that type of communication protocol. And there's marine grade heat shrink and these plugs are glued. And these are actually waterproof. This is some high quality stuff. Even their golf cart batteries, everything they make is really good. Now I did do a capacity test and it actually pulled 470 amp hours, which came out to 6,000 watt hours. So this is a six kilowatt hour battery. And considering how much current this can output and the size of the battery, that's actually a pretty good weight. If you had four 100 amp hours or actually five 100 amp hour batteries and you connected them into parallel with really thick cables that can handle that current, that thing would be very big and very heavy. So overall a pretty good form factor, but there is a limitation. The max discharge is still 300 amps. So if you need more than that, you're gonna have to buy multiple. And 300 amps times 12.8 volt nominal, that comes out to 3,800 watts. 
So if your inverter is larger than 3,800 watts, you're gonna have to buy two of these. But for most people with 12 volt applications, this might be all you really need. Also, let's consider the charge rate. 230 times 12.8 volts is 2,900 watts. So that's the maximum amount of solar or charging input capacity that you can connect to this battery. If you have 3,000 watts or more, you're gonna have to put multiple batteries into parallel. And now we're gonna open it up and see what's inside. Holy cow. Oh, it's the terminal, it's glued in there. I see, so we have to destroy the terminal to open it up. <laughs> This thing is nice. Look at these bus bars. I mean, it handles a lot of current, so it has to, but this is phenomenal. It even has a T-class fuse. And this label is actually a heat sink for the BMS. Now, I really don't wanna take this apart because these are all glued into place. So I'm trying to think of if there's anything else we could see inside here that's worth seeing. This is the same as their other pack, it's just bigger. But going by build quality, this is probably one of the nicest 12 volt batteries on the market. There's also Roy Pals, but I think they're manufactured by the same guys. I think Epoch or Epic is gonna be better though, cause you can buy it from Current Connected. That combination of Victron and these batteries, I think is one of the best you can get today. Please correct me if you think I'm wrong, but yeah, I like their golf cart batteries and this manufacturer is fantastic. And I actually want to use it. Most of these batteries I just throw in the trash, but these ones I actually keep. So anyways, I'm going to start using this in a system. I'm going to get a larger Victron inverter so we can test even larger surge loads, but this thing is fantastic. I mean, even the seal on this lid and everything, everything is built and designed for this battery and nothing else. But it's like 30% more than a lead time. So if you want the cheapest battery around, you could still stick with a lead time. But if you have a mobile application and there is a possibility that you need it to be super durable or you need a larger surge hand handling capability, this is the way to go. And what would you buy? I mean, would you buy this or a lead time? for around the same money, like for what you're getting. And this one tested really high too, so that was really cool. So I'm gonna put it back together and build a system. Thank you so much for watching my short little review video of the Epic Battery 460, and I will see you in the next video. If you have any fun ideas on mobile application with this battery, please let me know and I'll make a video on it. I think there's a lot more I could do in the field, like with an actual system with this battery or something that actually tests its durability. Please write those comments down below and I will read all of them. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.